Yeah. All right, so you guys are doing big things with your first album. Playground's killing it. Aisha's killing it. Then Crisscross comes out. Now, originally, correct me if I'm wrong, the beginning of Jump had Playground playing, then they scratched it out, and then Jump came on, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay, so I'm not a lawyer. I don't pretend to be a lawyer, but correct me if I'm wrong. That's illegal, right? Oh, yeah. So how was that handled? Did maybe an attorney send a cease and desist letter or? Well, you know what? I don't even think it was was going to get that deep. You know, it was just um some guys from Atlanta, man. We all from the same side of town. Jermaine from College Park. Dallas from College Park. We off. We all Southsiders, and I just think it was a, a a misunderstanding along the way with ABC and Chris Cross. What made them do that? Now you guys did originally work with Jermaine Dupree briefly, right? Well, when we first got started, when we was just doing talent shows around Atlanta, you know, Jermaine mm -hmm. will always be around. Jermaine will always be around, and. When we first saw Jermaine and met him, we thought he was uh, we thought he was our age because he was so short, right? Okay, right. But um, he did music and he had groups and stuff back in the day too. Him and Dallas was doing the same thing, you know. But um, mm -hmm. he he was more so. I would say Jermaine is more so a b boy type cat, you know, with the break dancing and hip hop. I, I got to give him that. So he helped us with a couple routines. Uh, he helped us uh choreograph some of playground and i think aisha and uh he was supposed to do some songs on our first album but i don't know i guess once we put aisha out everything happened so fast that he just okay. got lost in the shuffle so oh maybe i'm reading too much into this is it possible jermaine dupree expected to be more involved on your album he didn't so he kind of took a little umbrage and then that's why the beef with crisscross started yep that's exactly why that's exactly why. Okay. Yeah. Now, talking about crisscross, you you had your issues and whatnot. Did you find yourself liking any of their music? You know what? I ain't even gonna lie. I liked. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie. I like jump. I like. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I did, even though they distance. But right. it, it was hard. It was it was hard. It was a hard song, and it's still to this day jam definitely yeah you still know so. yeah definitely yep and i um it's crazy because i seen uh chris kelly years after all of that years after sure. all of that and uh we was at a we was at a bar and he was with some guys i was with some guys and uh we had a lot of mutual people that know us both you know but it wasn't sure. no beef or nothing like that i just walked up to him and Tapped him on the back. He turned around, and we just started laughing. Man, gave me a hug. We sat, we sat over in the corner, just me and him, just talking about all kind of stuff, man. All kind of stuff. Then like, they kept you would hear rumors about him, you know, having cancer, and he had passed away. You heard that many years before yeah. he did. So yeah. when 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 I heard about that he really did pass, I I didn't believe it. I'm like, man, they need to stop. They need to really stop saying that about dude, man. But it was true. And I'm just glad that, you know, we got a chance to just sit down and kick it and laugh like that, you know, with all the yes. other stuff that went on. That's good that you guys did that. Yeah, I, they were talking about because he had alopecia. They said he had cancer. I remember hearing that internet wasn't quite as big, so it was hard. And mm -hmm. then they had their their anniversary concert with So So Deaf. And literally two months later, and I, it was the same as you. I saw it on, I think it was like CNN. I'm like, this is not true. And then, yeah, unfortunately, yep. it was. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Stuff. 